So today, a Calgary judge just ruled that a 27-year-old autistic woman was allowed to continue with using MAID. If you don't know what MAID is, it's medical assistance in dying. This law was completely intended for senior citizens and people with severe disabilities. If you look at uh, justice.gc.ca, it states right on there that this is only for people who are already going to die. They simply can't take care of themselves anymore, and they don't wish to live out their life as it is anymore. Now, this woman is a young 27-year-old autistic woman. It also states on there that you have to be of sound mind and be able to make these decisions on your own. So it doesn't say where on the spectrum she is or anything else, but if she can fill out all the paperwork and go to see the doctors on her own, she's obviously at a point where she can make these decisions on her own, which means that she doesn't really qualify for this in the first place because she's doing this because she has some sort of depression or mental illness, which does not qualify you for MAID in the first place. It also states that you need two doctors to approve of this, and one of the doctors did not approve of this. The reason it went to court was because her father is trying to appeal the fact that it was even going through in the first place. Aside from the uh, autism, the only thing she has is ADHD. He said that she is perfectly physically healthy. There's no other reason for it. So either she's on the end of the spectrum where she can't make these decisions on her own, which would have meant that her father would have had to go with her and help her with all the paperwork and everything else, or she's on the end of the spectrum where she can make these decisions on her own, and she doesn't qualify for it, and she didn't have the approval of the two doctors that she needed in the first place. So how can a judge even rule in favor of this to begin with? She doesn't qualify for it in the first place. There's been some controversy as to whether this actually should qualify for depression and other forms of mental illness. But uh, as of last year in February, this was actually prolonged and pushed through until uh, this month, the 17th of this month, uh, that was only eight days ago, so they haven't had a chance to update this or go through it or revise it or anything else yet. But as of right now, A, she doesn't qualify for it, or B, she's not of sound mind to make these decisions on her own anyways. So how can the judge possibly make these decisions for her? Or rule that she should be able to make these decisions on her own, or that she even qualifies for it? What is this world coming to? Everybody can just go out and say, hey, doc, take me out.